Hey guys, the name is Chris Barachi. Welcome to Guitar Tweaks. Today, I want to figure out if modern capacitors sound any worse than <gasps> old school, huge and pretty expensive paper oil capacitors. How nerdy is that? I really want to know what the difference is. I never a beat a modern sort of inexpensive capacitor and a paper oil, old school capacitor. These are way more expensive. These are way bigger. And some people will say there's literally no difference. If you measure the same value, it's the same thing. Don't bother. Don't spend a lot of money on them. And some will say, well, that's just so not true. Just listen to your ears they will tell you what's real and what's up. This is gonna be the guitar of the day, this absolutely beautiful sounding and looking PJD Guitars St. John. It's Johnny. In case you're not familiar with the brand PJD Guitars, it's a small, a really small British brand and they make fantastic guitars. This is their headstock. It reminds us of a certain headstock. It's just their take on it. And they, they have different models. This is their sort of, offset body model the St. John I love it and these have very good quality parts right so it's bare knuckle pickups it's going to be bare knuckle pots even and uh, which are selected high grade CTS pots and uh, just overall very nice quality the capacitor for the tone pot is a uh, 0.022 value capacitor, which is something you would expect for humbuckers and P90s anyhow, so it's, it has the kind of value I would stick to anyhow, but it's an orange drop, which is a more modern capacitor. It's a, a beloved and uh, a, a really good quality capacitor, but it's not a paper oil one. <laughs> I'll do a couple of playings. I will do something with, I don't know, a clean tone, a super simple rig, like guitar straight into amp, into aux box for cap simulation, and then straight into the other interface. And I will play something with overdrive just to see if anything changes in terms of harmonics or anything. I will play both pickups, obviously, to see if a P90 or a humbucker would show anything in a more uh, obvious way than the other one. And of course, I will play with the tone knob. I will leave it open, like in 10, to see if the most open tone is any different. And I will go between the two end settings, obviously, so like eight, seven, five, something like that. And obviously, I will also turn it to zero to see if the darkest tone will be any different, maybe more usable with the paper oil capacitor, not sure yet. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely awesome. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy what I'm doing here in the channel. And check out the video description box. If you open it up, you'll find gear links, timestamps, additional information on my rig and whatever I'm using and you might be interested in. Let's open this absolutely beautiful flame maple cavity cover. <laughs> it's insane. And right in here, you can see the orange drop capacitor. I will replace it with this huge guy. Look how huge it is. <laughs> oh God, hope it will fit in. In case you're wondering how the wiring is on the guitar, it has a 50s wiring, so the capacitor joins the volume pot at its output lug. So um, yeah, I will of course do the same thing with the paper all capacitor as well. I will connect that one to the same two logs on both the tone and the volume pot. Goodbye little fella. I shortened the legs. I rather 
have it a bit too long than just too short, obviously. Okay, so this was a really nice and easy and fast mod. I have the tiny orange drop capacitor here, and I of course recorded some playings before I got this one out. So I have the recordings from before with the orange drop and after with the paper roll capacitor. Let's put them back to back.
my first impression is that the sonic difference is uh, it's small. It's it's subtle. Will your audience notice the difference if you swap capacitors? Nope. Of course they won't. And that's not even the point. It's about those players who love to have the tone part somewhere between 0 and 10. I definitely felt a difference between these two. I'm not sure if it's if it's that obvious, if you're just listening to my playing, because I had the advantage of actually playing, so it felt definitely different with the two different capacitors. I'm not sure if I will say the same thing after I edited the video and put the clips next to each other, like for an actual AB, but this is definitely how it felt to play the guitar, with the same parts and everything, with the two different capacitor types. I'm looking forward to seeing your opinion on this. What did you hear? Does it even matter? Etc. I want to see all that down there in the comment section. Meet you down there and see you next week in a new video. I'll be back. Bye bye. Let's play some more.